Thanks to Acer for sponsoring this video. So one of the very first laptop videos that you're seeing for 2026, these are some of the new ones Acer has just announced. Some of them are featuring the brand new Intel Core Ultra X series processor, which is based on the new Panther-like architecture, essentially gives you the best integrated graphics performance that you can get now, which is mainly around this guy here, which is their flagship, which is the Acer Swift 16 AI. And then at the end, we'll talk about these two, which are their Swift Edge laptops, both the 14 and 16 inch. Let's hop in. So usually the thing with integrated graphics, which are on most like productivity laptops, the ones that you actually use for work, for school, even with all the claims, they just never gave you a good enough like gaming experience or even if you're trying to do any sort of graphic work, that's where that changes and we now have a brand new chip from Intel. So this is the Intel Core Ultra X9. It also comes in the X7 as well and it's essentially boosted graphics performance. And I know over the years I've tested a ton of the integrated Intel Arc graphics. This essentially gives you the best gaming experience or performance performance for the Panther Lake series of processors. And where the X is actually derived from is the 12XE graphics, which essentially gives you up to 12 third gen XE cores. And as an example, this gives you 50% more performance than say Lunar Lake. And I'd say the best part about this, even though we have better performance, which is always great. It still really isn't sacrificing a lot for battery. So Intel is really learning. It's way more power efficient, still up to 24 hours of video playback, especially for like a productivity laptop, for a work laptop, for a school laptop, one that you don't have that ability to keep constantly plugged in, one that you're using completely untethered. I think that's a really huge improvement to think about, but let's get to the rest of this like actual laptop. So like I said, it's the new one from Acer. It features a couple cool, really new things. One of the big features still being one of their Swift laptops is still how lightweight this is. Even with all that extra performance, it's still under 1.5 kg. Easy enough to still carry around daily. I can literally lift this with two fingers. It's a 16 inch form factor. It's built out of a magnesium aluminum build. So it still has that nice like rigidity. It doesn't feel like cheap in any way. And it has a 180 degree hinge, which can go pretty much fully flat. And you can see on the inside here, maybe my favorite feature of this is the world's largest haptic trackpad. So this is made out of Corning Gorilla Glass. So there's no moving parts. Once again, the clickiness on this is really good. This is how most trackpads should be on laptops, taking up the majority of the space. Gives you a really nice tactility, really nice feel, a little click test. By far one of the best trackpads that I've used on a laptop. And what's actually really great, you can change the haptics within software. So if you want stronger or less like intense vibration or even say feedback type. And if you are an artist, so this actually does come with a stylus. You can use that fully on the trackpad, which once again, gives you a very precise movement. And I think that really goes hand in hand with the actual size. So you never feel like you're running out of space. Once again, artists, graphic designers would really benefit from this. My art skills are never up to par, but I can always pretend. Maybe that's my new year's resolution for the year. The rest of the keyboard is great, good spacing, nice travel for a productivity laptop. You feel like you never fatigue. Since it is 16 inches, you have a small little numpad off to the side. Everything is centered. There's a little bit of flex on it, but it still feels solid. But I'd say the most important part, especially like the palm rest area, that is what gives you zero flex. And like I said, feels still very premium. To the next big thing, which I like, has to be around the display. It's a 3K OLED touchscreen. It's 120 Hertz. So everything is nice and vibrant. It's got a million to one contrast ratio. It covers hundred percent of the DCI-P3 color space. So even if you're using this mostly for like productivity, if you happen to be like into any color accurate stuff, if you're editing photos, if you're doing video work, it's a great screen to look at. And even at the end of the day, if you just end up binging watching like content, Netflix, like YouTube stuff looks great on the OLED. You can see that very thin bezels. And because it's a productivity laptop, you still have a nice little 1080 camera for all of your calls and it has a little privacy switch to give you that feature and overall just like a solid solid laptop so in terms of like specs you can see I actually have obviously like a demo unit here which I'll get to a, a bit about performance but you can spec this with up to 32 gigs of RAM up to two terabyte SSD and obviously the big thing about gaming performance with that new chip so not able to share any like proper like frames that I've been getting but say any older Intel integrated graphics that I've tested before, I was never able to play like Cyberpunk at decent frame rates. This obviously changes that. You can see how smooth this is if you're playing other games that don't require as much like graphic performance, some FPS games, for example. And I'm not trying to say you can uh, tune up the graphics to ultra, but for a everyday laptop, one that you like literally can carry with you, one that you don't need like a dedicated gaming rig or a dedicated actual gaming laptop to use to get good performance out of, this thing, 
can like do everything. You can do it all, you can do all your work stuff, and you can actually switch properly into like gaming mode, which is really great. And that still gives you that all day battery life, something that you don't have to constantly keep tethered in. And what Acer has actually done, they have this new cool little key. It's called Acer My Key, which essentially it launches a profile or a preset, say, of your favorite app. So say you want to switch into gaming mode. You can switch that to Spotify and launch your favorite game. If you want to switch that to say like work mode, maybe you're running like Excel, Outlook, Teams, for example, you essentially just press one key and get everything open. And to kind of wrap it up, like I said, Swift laptops are super thin, so I'll just quickly go over the ports. You've got the one HDMI 2.1, USB-A, and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And on the other side, one USB-A headphone jack, as well as a micro SD card slot. Overall, super thin, super lightweight profile. Really cool to see like better or like actually decent level gaming performance coming to an everyday laptop. And that's a great segue into these two guys. So these are the new Acer Swift Edge 14 and 16 AI. So obviously these laptops are their more affordable ones. They still come with the new Intel Core Ultra Series 3 processors. Specifically, I've got these both with the Ultra 9, but you can still spec them from the Ultra 5 or Ultra 7 if you want. So the 14 inch comes in at under a kilogram, super lightweight and easy to carry around. They still are built out of the same magnesium aluminum build. Both have a 180 degree hinge and actually both have a multi-control trackpad. So you just need to swipe on the logo and you can see right there how that lights up. You can use these controls when you're say like watching video content, for example, like YouTube. And then you can actually switch to like a work mode, swiping over one more time. Useful when you're on calls, kind of cool. And even for this being a cheaper device, it still has a 3K OLED touchscreen, 120 hertz, which is nuts. They both have an Acer Sense key, which will launch an app, which essentially gives you like device optimization. You can change your performance mode, see how much you're actually using, or for example, your battery life. And I would say these are overall just like your everyday laptops, ones that you're not gonna break the bank with. The biggest choice you're gonna end up making is of course, like the size, 14 or 16. Do you want more portable or do you like the larger screen? Aurora Silver or Elemental Blue. And even with like the standard, like the non-X versions of the Intel Core Ultra processors, these are still really good laptops. They have up to 16 new performance cores and efficient cores. It's up to 50% faster CPU performance compared to Lunar Lake. They've got best in class connectivity for Intel AI PCs with Intel Wi-Fi 7. And overall, really solid upgrade across the board this year, which is great to see. Obviously excited to test out more of the Series 3 Intel Core Ultra X processors. Have we come to the time where you can actually get like next gen or good quality gaming performance with integrated graphics? I'll let you guys uh, decide. Let me know your thoughts down below and hope you enjoyed your very first look at some of the newest 2026 laptops rolling out for this year. Peace.